write about us? I think so. You like to write? Sure do. I wrote a poem for eighth grade. They made me read it in front of the class. I was going to get it published. Oh, well, uh, that's a tough field, poetry. Yeah, I was going to write some magazines about it. Uh -huh. So what do you think about my plan? Wanting to get pregnant? Yeah. Well, I'd like to ask you about it. Could I buy you something to eat? Sure. Forgot to eat lunch. See, as soon as the doctor signs this thing saying that you're pregnant, you can get AFDC. I don't know what that stands for, though. Aid for families with dependent children. But I didn't realize it started when you got pregnant. Uh, I'll have a milk and just a milk. I'll have the fries, a strawberry slush, and a cherry pie. So, like, I can get $287 a month, you know? I can, I can get my own place, and, and I can quit school, you know? And, and the best thing of all is I, I can have my baby. I really want a baby. Do you want to get married? All the guys I know are, are too immature. Me too. Does the boy know? No. Well, didn't he ask you if you were using birth control? I just told him I was too young to get pregnant. And he believed you? Sure. He wants to believe me. What do your friends at school think? I haven't told anybody about it, really. There's nobody to show. Wendy, does your mother know what you want to do? Uh-huh. What does she think about it? She sure. doesn't care. Hi. Wendy, hi. I found you. I don't believe it. <laughs> you sure did. How are you? I'm OK. I'm OK. Still not pregnant. But I read your uh, article. What'd you think? I guess which one was Gloria, because you talked about her maybe losing the baby and everything. Was that other girl me? Didn't you recognize yourself? It was me, huh? Oh, that's weird. Why is that weird? Well, you said that I was delicate, which is good. It's OK. I mean, you could have said I was a total loser, so that's good. But then you got into all this junk about how my mom's all freaked out, and I don't think, I don't think you got that part right. Oh? Well, you made it, you made it sound like my mom was like, I wasn't going to raise my baby any better than my mom raised me. And I don't think you can know that. Well, that's just something that happens lots of times with girls like you and their babies. Oh, well, that would be different. So this is where you work, huh? Uh-huh. All the reporters from Metro are in this room. You don't get an office? I get a desk and a file cabinet, one drawer. Do they, like, pay for the clothes that you wear to work and stuff? Oh, no. They barely pay for the typewriter ribbons. I think I could do this. Well, the less school you have, the tougher it'll be. Right, right. When I quit school, I'm going to regret it the rest of my life, right? This is a very competitive business. I don't know. I mean, you seem smart, but you're not like a genius or anything. Look, Wendy, uh, after your story ran, somebody called me about a class where kids take care of little babies just to see what it's really like. Why did they need to do that? Why don't you come with me? I'd be interested in your reaction to this place. Okay. You see, these kids get credit, class credit and childcare, and some local mothers get a break from their babies a few hours a week. Sounds like a simple enough arrangement. Looks like these kids have got their hands full. Very true. See, after a semester of this, last thing they want is a baby of their own. Is there any tape here, Mr. Hemmerly? Uh, yeah, it's on my desk. But wait a minute, uh, what do you need it for? Well, Amy, all she wants is a pacifier, but when I put her down with it, she keeps dropping it. So I'm gonna, like, tape it to her mouth so it won't fall out. That might work, Sarah, but what if Amy needs to breathe through her mouth? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what'll I do? She's really cranky. Well, uh, cuddle her with a pacifier. Well, I did, a long time. Well, not long enough for Amy. You, you try some more, right? Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got her? Uh, Mr. Hemmerly. Yeah. What if you hadn't been there? Well, I always am. The question really is, what if Sarah were alone with a baby to care for all the time? Mr. Himmerly? Yeah. It's not fair. Brian's had Vanessa two days now. Who do you have today? Well, Corey. 
and he's still all fussy like he was yesterday. Did you feed him? Yeah, and he spits up half of it all over me. Grabs my hair and he pulls. Can't I have Vanessa? Look, uh, I'll be right over, right? Okay. You see, Vanessa is the, uh, she's the little girl over there. She's cute, she's smart, she's always smiling. Everybody wants dibs on her. And Corey? Well, you know how some babies seem to be wet all the time? Aw. <laughs> I mean, I try not thinking about what it'll be like when Vanessa and Corey are in school. I better, uh, yeah, thanks. How's it going? Okay. These people sure aren't very good at this stuff. Do you think it's because the babies aren't their own? What do you think? I don't know. Let's go, okay? Funny smell in here. Get used to it, kiddo. Billy Newman. Hi, it's Wendy. Oh, hi, Wendy. What's up? I'm so excited I had to call you. I did it, Billy. You're pregnant. Yeah, it worked. At first, I was, you know, a little scared about it, but, but now I know for sure I, I really did it. Well, what do you think? It was okay. Did the counselors give you any good advice? I guess. Well, what'd they tell you? One told me about an abortion, but why would I want an abortion? I want to have my baby. What about adoption? A baby's not just like a puppy or something where you, you give it away. Wendy, what if someone else was able to take care of your baby better than you can? Money's not everything. I mean, maybe they could give it more attention. Maybe they would be older, would know more what a baby needs. Nobody can love a baby more than its mother. That's not necessarily true. You think that a baby is going to make everything better, but when it doesn't and you're disappointed, you're liable to take it out on the baby. You don't want me to have my baby, do you? You think I won't be a good mother, don't you? Wendy, Wendy, it's going to be so tough for you. I'm not asking for hardly anything. I know I'm never going to be smart or popular. I know I'm always going to let my mom down, and I'll never be anything. I just want a baby. I want something all new that will love me. And I know I can do it right. Oh, Wendy, Wendy, will you please listen to me? You're selling yourself short. Wendy, you're a good kid. Don't you see that? There are lots of things you can do. Well, you don't think I can be a writer. I know you don't. Wendy, there are lots of things in life to be besides a mother and a writer. There are several things in between the two. But you don't see that yet. And on the other hand, you think the toughest job of all, being responsible for someone else's life, is going to be easy just because you want it so much. Please, please, there's time. Would you think about adoption, please? No, forget it. You don't understand. It's just temporary, so I haven't fixed it up or anything, but I think it's real cute, don't you? Nice. Uh, I don't have a TV yet, but I could rent one for $10 a month. Yeah. That's for black and white. 15 for color. I think I might like color, though. I never had one at my house. I hope you're going to do something other than watch TV. Oh, sure. Are you kidding? I can do whatever I want. I can read. I can go shopping. Oh. You gotta see this. You put everything in it from the first picture they take in the hospital until she graduates from high school. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna give it to her when she goes out. What if it's a boy? Oh, that's okay. Maybe it'll be a boy. Oh, and... Look at these. Aren't they the cutest things you ever saw? Look at the, look at the little fingers on the gloves. Isn't it amazing? Do babies wear these? Oh, sure. All the time. When I take her out for walks or him, we can get all dressed up, you know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them out on trips and, and show them stuff, you know? So how are you feeling? Taking your vitamins? When I remember. It's great, though. I'm feeling these little pulls inside, you know? Oh, my face cleared up. Good. My mom's still mad at me, but I think she finally realizes I'm grown up. Because she, do she doesn't yell at me anymore, you know? Oh. And I quit school. <laughs> so, 
I guess that's about it. Yeah. So listen, if you ever want to uh, stop by, see how I'm doing, I'll uh, just drop in any time. I'll, I'll be around. OK. Thanks. Good luck. Are you kidding? I got it made here. <laughs>